next time. I'm, I'm so sorry. That must have been rough for you. Um, that must be very convenient, bitch. Um, and so, if she failed. Uh, thank you. That's my name. That's my name. Me up. I'm nowhere. Um, I guess I'm going to want to keep talking about myself. I, uh, I've always felt very blessed. I, I come from a good family, always very comfortable, a nice side of town. Um, and so I feel like I, I believe in, in the fairness of the universe. It, yeah, if things go well for you, eventually like it's going to it's, it's gonna suck for you. It's going to get real, real shitty. And so vice versa, obviously. So I think that something terrible is going to happen before I die. And I think for some reason it's going to happen to my offspring. Um, you know, I, I was thinking about this the other day and I'm thinking like, like, what if one of my kids is born deformed? You know, like, what if, what if my, my kid is, is blind or deaf or a girl? And... <laughs> I did, girl, Mother Hubbard, I did. Um, and so I'm wondering, like, you know, what if... I'm sorry? Hi, Mother. Sorry, words are today. And so I'm thinking, like, like, what if my son is born deaf? How do you, like, and he's a problem child. Like, how do you, how do you punish him? Can't just, you, you can't just say, nope, that's it, no iPod for a week, no iPod for a week. Like, oh, right, you can't hear. Uh, okay, um, so I think, I think I got a more creative with it, you know, really kind of like think about it. And I think, like, oh, hey, like, Timmy, I see you, uh, you didn't want to finish your green beans, buddy. Just gonna, just gonna throw them out. Well, you know the drill. Go upstairs, get the bop it, and meet me in the basement. You're, not, you're gonna sit there until you get 10 right in a row. I'm not gonna, move, I'm gonna watch you. Bop it. Hey, you know, I'm just kidding. That's, that's terrible. That's, that's awful. But, um, you know, we, we do live in a terrible world. Uh, just, just look at the professional athletes. Uh, you give these guys money, and they just, they just go nuts. They go out there committing crimes. You got Michael Phelps telling kids it's cool to smoke weed. You got Michael Vick killing dogs when he gets bored. Um, ben Robinsberg is raping everybody. Um, which, which is something I don't really understand. If you win two Super Bowls, how bad is how bad is your game? If you're winning Super Bowls and still not getting laid, like what are you? Like, what is he possibly saying to these people, like, these girls, and they come up to him, like, hey, and I'm saying, like, damn, boobs, boobs, Ben, how you doing? Now, later, okay, now, like, like, what is possibly going on? I think when you do something that significant and everyone knows about it, like. These things have to just fall into your lap, right? Like, I, if, they, if they had TVs 2,000 years ago, you think people would turn on the news and see, like, this just in. Jesus Christ, a 30-year-old carpenter and son of God from Nazareth, has been arrested for robbing a bank, claiming his reasoning being, no one will buy drinks at the bar. <laughs> like, no, that, that's not going to happen. Like, if I, if I see Jesus, I'm going to go, hey, Jesus, what's up, it's Jeff. I, I know you know. I know you know. Listen. I never thanked you for saying, yeah, for dying for my sins. I want to buy you a drink. So, you know. Are you done? Are you done? I think it's fine. Like a gay pride symbol right below this guy, like right here, gay pride. Um. <laughs> no, but that's the thing about the news is you, you do see all kinds of crazy stuff. Um. I remember turning on the TV a couple months ago, not here because Italy doesn't believe in TVs apparently. I haven't seen a single one. Um, right? Tell me that. It's horrible. I feel like I feel like I'm Amish. It's terrible. No dryers? Are you serious? Like, is this technology not reached this part of the, the world yet? It's horrible. I kill myself. <laughs> but uh, but no, so I'm, I'm watching the news. I'm watching the uh, the local news. I'm covering your typical inner city crime, whatever, they're interviewing the locals, you know, the, the eloquent, well-spoken, high-caliber locals. They're only going to say, yeah, I, I saw him, but then I seen him, and then I didn't see him, I don't know. And so they're, they're interviewing one woman, and then it might be the most ridiculous name I, I have ever seen, and will ever see. It was spelled, it was called Ladasha, L-A, an actual dash symbol, A. So she has punctuation in her name. If you have punctuation in your name, you don't deserve to be alive. You're not doing the world any good. Have you ever seen a politician with a, with a dash in their name? Or an apostrophe? No, it's ridiculous. All you're going to do is sell and coke for your life. Like, no. It's ridiculous. Out of you. So, like, it, 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 it's got me wondering, like, like what's it going to be like for teachers in 20 years when they're, when they're taking role on the first day of class? 
The guy that we, we have, uh, Dakama Brown. Is Dakama Brown? That's, that's not a, surely that's a title. Here! Really? That's, that's your name? Dakama? D A K. Okay, you know what? Whatever. That's fine. People suck. Moving on. We have Jabak slash Jackson. Is that your. Is there a Jabak? What's up, Teach? Okay, seriously. This is ridiculous. Alright, moving on. I'm forgetting about it. Is this Let Ampersand? Is that Let Ampersand Williams, really? See, okay, I quit. Alright, I'm done. I, uh. I'm kind of out of material, so I think I'm just going to dip off before I embarrass myself. Thank you, everybody.